I've been assassin. I write the way you swing a trend, you think you rock I write the tank, hawk stuff, sound like you're fine. I write our team with my. Hey, what's up, my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less chat. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. This platform also consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, tea, some shade, and we also got some sensitive topics. So if you are sensitive to people's opinions, this is not the channel for you. So in this segment, we are going to be giving an update with Diddy. We got some Krishan. We got Beyonce mom, Tina. Okay. And we got some Taseki. Okay. And she has some things that she wanted to say. So before we get into all of the tea and all of this messy shh, please make, please make sure to like this video. So Diddy. So allegedly, apparently he's been put on suicidal watch. Okay. We do not know any more information besides that, but we're going to get into what the sources are saying. But I guess this is like a precaution because of everything going on. We don't know what his state of mind is. So he was remanded to MDC on Tuesday, September 17th after pleading not guilty and being denied bail twice this week. It is not known if Combs is suicidal or how long he has been on suicide watch. Sources tell people... That it is for preventative measures as Combs is in shock and his mental state is unclear. Okay. Also, according to sources, Diddy has officially been added to the Federal Bureau of Prisons database. Okay. So he is officially clink clink down in the FBI state system. This is SDNY's description of the alleged Kid Cudi's car explosion. Defendant's co-conspirators set fire to individual one's vehicle by slicing open the car's convertible top and dropping a Molotov, I don't know what that is, cocktail inside the interior. Police and fire department reports extensively to document the arson and conclude that the fire was intentionally set. Multiple witnesses will also testify to the defendant bragging about his role in destroying the individual one's car. OK, so y'all pay attention. They talk about the Diddy and they trying to put, you know, two and two together. Now, it says approximately two weeks later, the defendant's co-conspirators set fire to the individuals one by slicing open. Then police and fire department um, reports intensively document the arson and conclude that um, it was intentionally set. I say multiple witnesses would also testify to the defendant bragging about his role in destroying individuals cause. So not only do they have that, they got witnesses. Defendant provides financial support to this person. So early on November 19th, which is three days after the filing of the civil lawsuit by another victim, the defendant received a text from this other person in response. It reads, I feel like I'm reading my own actual trauma. It makes me sick how three solid pages, word for word, is exactly my experiences and my anguish. The defendant then called the victim twice. Those are the recordings. And in those recordings, he gaslit her and he attempted to convince her that she had willingly engaged in SEX. All right, so according to Nancy, reading Sean Combs' second bail hearing transcript, okay, the attorneys read four texts allegedly sent to Combs by unidentified female victims. Number one, I turn my head for a second and you get freaked up and you drag me down the hall by my hair. Number two, I have bleeding cuts. Number three, you hit me in the head two good times. Number four, when you get freaked up the wrong way, you always want to show me that you have the power and you knock me around. I'm not a rag doll. I'm someone's child. Okay. Then y'all can pause um, to read because at the bottom is in the court documents. Now, this is Linda. Okay. She is Sean Diddy Combs' son's uh, publicist. Okay. Christian and Justin's publicist. All right. She had an uh, input to put out. OK, about Diddy, these allegations and, you know, her being close to the family and whatnot. 
this Diddy controversy is truly so unfortunate. I work with his son Christian as his publicist in the music area and have worked with his other son Justin too for several years. And I've been around and attra- interacted with Diddy many times. I've been to his parties and the after parties and I've never seen what they are claiming, alleging, but I cannot speak for others. However, I do believe that He was trying to change his life around for the better over the past year. But it seems like it was too late and his past transgressions have come to light and now he has to face the consequences. But let's remember, no one is limited to God's grace and mercy. So hopefully he will find redemption within that and it is God's will. He'll get another chance to make it right and redeem himself with those that have been affected by him. But even if not, Hopefully his consequences will serve as a proactive example and change in this industry, especially towards women, because there are a lot of other powerful men in the industry that I have witnessed do worse, if not the same as the allegations in this case. So anyways, God bless him and the family and the victims as they deserve justice for whatever is true and all. Then she says, this was a private conversation with family on my personal Facebook Unfortunately, my comment was shared to the public. It was never intended to be an official or professional statement. Linda Luna. Okay, so now she is basically like, listen, either way it goes, girl, you still said it. Okay, so what other men in the industry? What have you witnessed, Miss Linda? Now, you've been a close person to the Diddy, the Combs family, so we're not going to be like, okay, you're entitled to just tell the truth because people, I'm pretty sure on that side, is going to try to protect them. But let me know how y'all feel about all of this. How do you feel about Diddy on Suicide Watch and, you know, all this stuff that's going on? Um, Me personally, I'm not even going to lie and act like I care. <laughs> because all these monsters out here doing all this stuff is going to come ta- come down to it 10 times fold. And it is what it is. If you do the crime, you're going to have to do the time. I don't feel sorry for anybody that's monsters out here. I'm sorry. Not sorry. So anyway, let me know how you feel about that. Do y'all even think that Diddy's sons are involved in any way? Because they are of age. They are in the industry. We do not know what they're capable of either. Y'all see how these teenagers and these young adults be out here acting a damn fool and doing too much? So let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. Now we got Krishan Rock. Okay, so let me just put this out there before we get into the rest. Remember when Krishan said that she's not going to deal with Zeus anymore? She's better and everything else where they didn't give her the right amount of money for her to make her appearance? Okay, so let's pay attention to this. Here, it's like, yeah, here's a list of 86 things you're not doing. I'm going to give you a list of 46 things that you need to do. And it follows perfectly. And now it's another thing on your list. After you figure out what's going on with your teenager, after you figure out how to pay your debt, after you realize, shoot, I forgot to file my taxes, after you realize, oh my gosh, there's a little distance in my marriage, then you're like, oh yeah, and also, I need to serve hundreds of hours, and I should be reading my Bible notes, and more, and I've got to know Greek and Hebrew, and oh my gosh. Oh. Hey, Steph. Yeah, it's good. My God, nine. Can you? Would you consider taking A-step? Yeah, come on. I'm not saying that I don't have to figure it out. Charles, I got questions about God. Me too. I don't know about God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why do we pray for stuff? Yeah. Why are we praying? If you already know what you want to hear, it's like, yeah, here's a list of He loves the word. He loves church and praising God. Amen. Okay, pay attention. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God's plan is going to be Krishan's new show on Zeus. It's going to be so blessed and excited about my new series called God's Plan featuring Krishan, Jesus, Porter, and I. I'm also making a special guest appearance on Baddies Midwest. All coming soon to Zeus Network. Let that sink in. Get ready for what I'm about to say. And if your little rock turds don't like it, I don't care. She also had put out this video. I just want to thank you for this opportunity that everybody's in college right now. Just focus right now, Lord God. Um, Any stress or anxiety or any type of questioning, Lord God, I rebuke it. 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. Who's ready for the sit-down interview and Bible study I had with Pastor Jamal? Okay, so that was her little caption from the video y'all just seen with her on the phone and them praying. Okay, she be using God's name for all the wrong reasons. It should have been called losing Isaiah. Nah, I felt like she be playing with the Lord and I don't like that. Now, these are not the only person, people that feel this way. I am a firm believer in the term of let God use you, but this doesn't come off as God using her, but her finding a way to use God for all the wrong reasons. Y'all better find y'all something safe to do. Pay attention. Talked all that stuff about Zeus just to go back. They tune into Zeus for wig pulling and BBLs, not Jesus. <laughs> Say that again, okay? Now that the money gone, she back and humble. Do you think so? Um, just got out of jail, but back on Zeus is crazy work. Won't be watching. A lot of people are saying they're not going to be watching. Are y'all going to be watching her show? No, 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 and freaking no. She already had her chance and lost it 19 times. Shaking my freaking head, and now we supposed to give her another one? I disagree with this shit. No shade. It's other people out here more grateful and equipped for an opportunity. Why keep wasting it on old news? Oh, oh, I'll pass. Best of luck, though. Mmm, the energy. I'm not watching it. She looks more mature, rooting for her and Junior. I know you freaking lying, Anthony said. Hmm. Jailbird needs Jesus for clout, and y'all eat it up. I hate this world. Sigh. Free blue face and take the baby away from her. Damn, she just got out yesterday. <laughs> I mean, good for her if she feels that that's what she needs to do in order for her to think that people will look at her in a different light. Unless you're gullible that fast or gullible period, that you will believe and eat up everything she's trying to put out with Jesus and the Lord. We've been hearing her praying, talking about the Lord and Jesus and path change and all type of stuff, and then she turns around and do the same thing. We don't really see her doing much of change. But to y'all, a little bit is a lot, right? I mean, she could start from somewhere. But like I said in multiple videos and her and her actions, exploiting Krishan Jr. for these videos, like why can't you just be in um in church and just, you know, enjoy the moment with your son? Enjoy the moments with him that you have. You just got out. And now you just keep throwing the camera in his face, knowing what people are saying. May maybe you don't care. Maybe you care enough for him to be all over the internet to get your coin. And that's just how I feel. I, I, that's how I feel. We don't never see Krishan taking him to doctor's appointments or doing anything positive. But she throws him in the cameras, okay, for every little second. But we don't really see him doing much. Like, if you really want to put him out there, show him doing some things. Show him doing some milestones. Show him at a doctor's appointment. Show him, show him doing good things. Not just throwing him in the camera just to get some comments. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Now, Miss Dolly has some things to say because she was asked a question regarding Beyonce, the country album, and all this album and this country talk. So we're going to get into exactly what she said. She was asked, what do you think about Beyonce getting shut out of the CMA nominations? She says, well, you never know. There's so many wonderful country artists that I guess probably the country music field, they probably thought. Well, we can't really leave out some of the ones that spend their whole life doing that. But I didn't even realize that until somebody asked me that question. But it was a wonderful album she can be very, very proud of. And I think everybody in country music welcomed her and thought that was good. So I don't think it was a matter of shutting out, like doing that on purpose. I think it was just more of what the country charts and the country artists were doing. That do all the time, but not just a specialty album. Now, y'all can pause to read what Tina said, okay, in um, the Neighborhood Talk. Posted it, and Tina's in the comments saying, this is fake, not from me. So right here, for the person, you know, whoever wrote it, allegedly, is basically, you know, defending Beyonce and stuff like that. So let me know how y'all feel about that. 
And now Tina knows, girl, Dolly wanted, wasn't trying to be shady at all. The whole gist of the comment was that there are artists who spent the whole year and some doing country music and rightfully should be in the artist of the year category. Tina knows always somewhere talking about when Beyonce was seven or nine. Laugh my butt off, ma'am. She's 52 now. Tina Knowles, lost the Knowles, is prime example of a mother that never taught her daughter to take the L gracefully. Being entitled and propped up on a pedestal for over 20 years wasn't enough. So when they show up in different spaces, they expect to be praised immediately. So I guess they saying like, that's not how it is. The only thing Miss Tina Knowles needs to worry about is making sure her daughter doesn't go to jail herself. Or to visit her baby father. Now, is nothing wrong with defending your child. Remember this right here? Y'all can pause to read this. This is a time when everybody assumed that Beyonce was bleaching her skin. And she did a whole story defending her daughter. Beyonce mom, Tina knows, is ordered to pay 3000 k to her husband. Now, they just finalized a divorce. So maybe she's going through something. And we don't know. That's probably why she, you know responded if that was her but because allegedly that wasn't her but we don't know maybe she didn't want to make it an issue maybe she didn't want to bring you know that negative energy to her daughter and jay-z and that whole stuff going on because oh, what a coincidence when everything's being said and all these allegations and assumptions is going on online here go a comment to dolly when dolly didn't really even say nothing bad she said what she said it's people that was in country music and categories and all this stuff for their whole career so why would beyonce feel entitled and she been there for five seconds did a country album and she thought oh because i'm beyonce i'm supposed to be getting all these awards and take up for the country category and stuff no mm -mm. that's not how things work y'all and i'm sorry if y'all beyonce fan and you think that everybody is supposed to kiss her feet and, and cherish the ground she walks on but not everybody are ass kisses y'all okay so y'all know Taseki, everybody was asking her, oh, your mom is online, you know, they put the video out, well, you talked about it already. So this is Taseki responding, okay? Everybody is like, why you not helping your mother? Now you got money, now you this, you got the fame, now you trying to, you know, shit on your mom and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to listen to what Taseki had to say regarding what people are trying to insinuate. Y'all keep saying stuff about my mom, I don't know. Like, I'm at work. All I know is that my mom need me. I'm always there. Really, I just, I can't really um, cancel workout. I am number eight out of 12. It's 12 of us, not just one or two. It's 12 of us. So I'm sure it's my other siblings are at home handling it. And then when I get back, I'll put the icing on the cake. That's cool. And you guys, and at this point, we're all family. And I, I guess you guys kind of have an answer. I know y'all not going to like this, but it is what it is. Taseki, we already know her and Kushan are the ones that's you know, has the spotlight and the fame, has the money right now, and everything else. Before Taseki was blown out of proportion, everybody was on Kushan. Like, Kushan, 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 do for your mom, do for your mom, as if she don't have a whole bunch of other kids. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I understand that they have financial, you know, they're there financially to help, okay? But let's not try to put all the burden out on them when y'all and y'all regular lives to still get money, okay? What if you didn't have a celebrity a uh, sibling or anybody, you know, connected to a celebrity? You still had to make ends meet. You know what I'm saying? So Taseki is like, listen, I'm working. But she act like she ain't know what was going on with her mother, but she know what's going on with her mother. She just didn't want to take accountability for not caring, for real, for real. I feel like she care, but she don't care, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, with this whole Krishan and this church and everything else, listen here. Like I said, if y'all want to be gullible, y'all could be gullible. I don't feel like she needs to just keep, you know, she ready to beat up. Everybody was ready to beat up Woe Vicky on baddies when she was talking about Jesus and praying and saying stuff like that. So now it's okay for Krishan to have a whole show on this, the, the network. Like, come on, make it make sense. And y'all really going to be letting her use the Lord's name, try to get a positive um, feedback from y'all to make it seem as if she's a changed person. Girl, you still, you got court coming up this month. 
you're not off the hook yet. So I don't know. Maybe she's trying to put out all these plans and make it seem like she's on some positive path. And we know she not. Like, come on. Like, be serious. Like, I'm just not gullible. I need to see actions and I need to see proof. Okay? In order for me to change my mindset on something. But everybody is different. Like I said, um, you know, good luck to her. Okay, and whatever else that she's doing. But like I said, if you really want to get some positive stuff and you don't really care about what people say about your son, that you should show him in a more positive light. Show him reaching some milestones and teach people and show people wrong if that's what you're trying to do. You know, because it was okay for you to come online and say, Well, y'all just mad because y'all cannot give me y'all views. Y'all kid not giving y'all y'all not y'all kid not making y'all money. Like what? Who says that about their child? You know what I'm saying? Like if, like if your child was some type of investment, like that's weird. But anyway, I said what I said. Let me know how y'all feel about everything in this video. Everything in this video is already circulating online. Everything in this video is already online. So I just put it here and we talk about it. There's no difference. You understand what I'm saying? So opinions are opinions. You can agree to disagree, but it's never really that serious to go beyond that. Okay. So please make sure to run this video up and I'll see y'all in my next video. Until then, to the loose, bye bye. I brought a G Wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for war. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for war. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for